13.2b. Compounding inequalities of or that go in one direction. With an or, if both graphs go the same direction, then we use the larger or longer graph. Because remember, an or statement just says that one of the two inequalities must be true. Let's look at this in example one. Let's start by adding six to both sides of the first inequality. This gives us four x is greater than sixteen. We then divide both sides by four, giving us x is greater than four. Or, we solve the second one by subtracting five, which gives us negative two x is less than or equal to two. Then we divide both sides by a negative two. We just divided by a negative, so we need to make sure to flip the symbol, giving us x is greater than or equal to one. We get our line out, and remember, we need to mark zero and the numbers we're using on our graph. Let's float the first one above the graph. We have x is greater than four, which means an open dot that points towards the right. Next, we have x is greater than or equal to negative one, which means a closed dot that also goes to the right. As you can see, the one that starts at negative one starts much further left and is longer or covers more of the graph than the other. This means this is the one that we will be drawing down on the graph. Then we can write our interval notation. We start by writing a bracket for the closed dot, negative one because that's the point on the graph we are. We're going towards positive infinity, which always gets a parenthesis. This is therefore our answer. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Let's solve each of the inequalities. Subtract two x, which gives you x plus five is less than negative nine. Subtract five from both sides, gives you x is less than negative fourteen. Or, We first must distribute before we can move on any further. So we get five x minus five, and everything else stays the same. We can now subtract five x from both sides, giving us two x plus three is less than or equal to negative five. We then subtract three from both sides, and we get two x is less than or equal to negative eight. Dividing both sides by two, we get x is less than or equal to negative four. Now, let's graph these. We first draw a zero, a negative four, and a negative fourteen on the graph. The negative fourteen is a less than, so we leave an open dot going towards the left. The second one is less than or equal to, so it is a closed dot on negative four, also going towards the left. As you can see, they both overlap, so we draw the bigger one so that we cover more of the possibilities. We now see that we've gone towards negative infinity, so we can write our interval notation, which is parenthesis negative infinity comma negative four bracket, and this is our answer. Remember, when solving compound inequalities that are ors, if they go in the same direction, you choose the longer option as only one of the two inequalities has to be true.